Hello again everyone, and I am Justin Pontarelli, and I'm back, and we're going to be doing some more Interstellar Pilot. This is going to be part two of the Getting Started tutorial. So let's uh, pick up where we left off. And we're going to go to load game. Yes, yeah, so actually first, first of all, um, let's bust out our... Uh, our lovely pen again on the D recorder. So now that you actually have a saved game, you can utilize these options. That would be obvious though, right? So let's just get along to it. Load game. And here's our file that we did. Click on load. Nothing to it. Okay. Um... I'm trying to remember where we where we left off. I just kind of did this about a, like an hour ago, so I should really know where we are. Anyway, we haven't left Gatopia yet, and we're still inside docked in Gatopia Station. I think we went over some basic stuff. Um, let's check out some more options in this uh, side menu here before we get going. Okay. We'll check out some options from this menu here. We will do a quick review of the options we have in this menu here. And um, that's about it. Okay. So let's start here. And then we'll go here. Okay? Okay. So like I said, um, you have your bounty board. Okay, which shows basically which pilots and which ships are wanted by which faction and how much the reward happens to be. So the idea is, let's say you destroy that ship, you get that money. Okay? <clears throat> Again, if you like to gamble, knock yourself out, but I don't recommend it. It's a waste of money. Just like real life. Okay? The docking bay shows, obviously, which ships are docked at the station. And right now we are. These are the type of ships that are available at this base. And I kind of went over briefly what the uh, letters happen to mean on these ships. For example, you have the Pioneer A and the Pioneer P. What's the difference? So Pioneer A is your basic Pioneer vessel, and the Pioneer A happens to be one with increased passenger capacity. Typically, though, at the loss of, like, maybe a weapon or two, okay? Not a big deal. But right now we're dead broke, so we really can't afford anything. <laughs> um, you can buy intelligence on the sector, but I'm broke, so let's not do that. Um, job board. Um, you know, you can start off being a courier. Um, you could do that. I don't really want to, though, but it's an okay way to start off. Or you can transport passengers, but you don't have... Actually, maybe we could do that. Hold on. Let's see if we can do some passenger... Um, and we really can't yet. Okay, well, it wouldn't be worth it anyway. But there's some basic ways to get started. As far as money is concerned, you can start off by, well, not at, well, in this case you probably can't because if you look around here, when you click on these options, there's no options to buy and sell anything. Okay, so that might not work until you do some exploring and go into some other areas. So... We're going to probably have to start off by being a courier, okay? Or transporting passengers. And since we don't have the money for uh, transporting, we're going to probably be a courier, okay? Um, yeah. So anyway, going back over to the uh, left-hand side options here when we're docked, you can, of course, sell your ship, which we're not going to do. If you need repairs, that's the place to do it. 
obviously. Components allows you to see the uh, stuff you have currently installed and its status. Orders! You want to give your ship orders and have it go on manual pilot? That's the place to do it. Okay. I think we already set up a... F uh, no, we did not. Let's do this now. Let's go to uh, fleet settings. Let's pick a base. The Egotopia station will be um, our base. Uh, and let's make sure it's not going to intercept or sorry, attack hostiles. And once it can cloak, let's make sure it does that when it has to or can. Um, equipment's going to allow you to buy and sell new equipment. For right now, we're not going to mess with anything. And unless we can sell stuff and get a passenger module, but that's going to be 7,000 credits that we don't have available. <clears throat> if we had cargo, it would be listed here. Oh, sorry, we do. <laughs> we have ECMs, which are uh, anti-missile pieces of equipment. And uh, yeah, if you have passengers, by the way, you'll see them in here. Now, we do have a list. Hold on, let me just show you the list real quick, okay? I mean, it is self-explanatory, but I'm going to show you anyway. So right here you have the destination. Basically, where do these people want to go to? How much will they pay you to get them there? And the number of people that you would have to pick up. Okay? Then you can scroll down the list. And yeah, that's that's how that works. Okay? Now the idea is once you've selected the passenger you want to transport, you click on toggle waypoint and then you pick them up. Toggling your waypoint allows you to more effectively take them to their next to their next uh, destination. Okay. Okay. Great. Let's get out of there then. <clears throat> um. For now, let's let's go ahead and be a courier. That'll get us started. So let's go to the job board again, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, pick up this stuff here. Okay. We're going to accept that. Now we're going to pick up cargo. Um, now sometimes it's there's a chance that the cargo is not always going to be um, uh, at the station that you're at. Okay. And now if you go to cargo, you'll see it obviously in your cargo bay. So we have to drop off four androids someplace because that's, I don't know, that's a thing now. Anyway, let's undock. Now let's see here. First of all, we have a blue arrow, or sorry, an arrow with a blue star. That tells us where we have to go. Let's check out the mission. Let's go to Log Mission. Click on that. And it tells us that we still have to um, deliver these four androids to the trade station in the Galeen sector. Okay. Now, I don't know if we can... Um, set autopilot for this one, unless, oh, we can, look at that. So, you see the little, here, well, let me show you this, hold on. So, I clicked on find jewelry because, um, uh, jewelry always ends up at a trade station. See the little blue star? That means that that's our destination for the mission. So what we can do is we can click on this and click on toggle waypoint and then toggle move to and they'll give us our autopilot. Let's do that, okay? Alright. <clears throat> click, click, click. And away we go. Look at her go. Now check this out. We're going to bump into him. Now I have to turn, slow down, and that's why I don't like autopilot, because it's obnoxious. And there's a bandit. Hopefully someone takes care of him. Looks like he is dying. Uh, now you want to, you know, let me show you something real quick too. Let me pause this. Let 
whenever you enter into a sector, I always like to get into the habit of clicking on that button right there. Let me show you why. Click on it. And... Alright, oops. Let's do that again, click on it. Or not. And, yeah, so basically the idea is you have other options. So click on your scanner. And this allows you to see what kind of stations are around. What kind of ships are nearby. Is there any kind of scrap or cargo laying around? Any wormholes in the area? And are there any asteroids in the area? Other options, you can target vessels and scan them. For example, I think we can target him. Now we can scan him. Look at that, he's loaded with missiles and uh, ECM. You can check on his components. Okay, see how he's armed. So he has shields, engines, cloak, everything, okay? Oh yeah, yeah, and you can also um, check out where he which uh, faction he belongs to and look at, see, just check on them, you know? In this case, we know they're, um, they're hostile, they're allies with Black Sail, and yeah, anyway, so that's, that's about that. Um... Click on navigation, you have a couple options. You can check out the sector map, which is it's where we are right now. You just you can zoom in, center, and zoom out. We'll click and drag around and look around the sector. And then you have your universe map, which shows you all the sectors that we've discovered so far and been to. All right, let's get going. Okay. <clears throat> 12 minutes in, we've barely done anything, right? Because we're going over the basics. Okay. So we've learned so far how to use the autopilot. Or at least we've started doing that. I don't like the autopilot, though, so let's start manually piloting, okay? Let's increase our speed. Let's pause it. Let's get our handy pen out again. Start to like this thing here. Okay. So right under here, you're going to see a slider bar that you can click on and drag, which allows you to increase and decrease your speed. This is going to be your uh, ship and shield status, basically showing how healthy your vessel is, generally speaking. Your uh, available energy for your ship, all your weapons and your the status of your tractor beam, and if you have a cloaking device that'll be listed here as well in, in this bar. Obviously this is for uh, steering. Okay. Click on this button to turn right. Click on that button to turn left. Click and hold. Okay. Um, this is like a camera lock feature that locks your view on a certain point. I'll try to show you that as well. And I've already showed you those options in here, so... Anyway, up here you have the name of your vessel and the class of vessel it is. In this case, Shuttle A Allison. And this is where we are. Oops, sorry. <laughs> That's the sector we're in. In this case, Androla. Let's see if we can erase that. Yeah, not really, but... Oh, we can. Awesome. We're in Androla. Okay. And that's how many credits. <clears throat> Oops. That's how many credits we have up here, and why is it not letting us do that? Okay. Credits. Oops. Okay, try that again. There we go. Those are our credits that we have currently right there. Alright, let's uh, unpause and get moving. Okay. So like I said, slide this bar around. Increase and decrease your speed. Turn. Get a good feel for how nimble she is, you know? How fast can she turn? Does she turn faster when she slows down? Absolutely. Um, when you're going faster, you, you, know, make, you make kind of wide looping arcs when you turn. Okay. Get a, get a good feel for how, you know, quickly it can accelerate to its full speed. 
And let's use that uh, camera function, whatever this is. Check this out. Can't see it. And now we're, we're now our view is locked onto it. Click again, and we're forward facing again. And that's how that works. Now, I think we're going to uh, another area. So, all we have, see, so yeah, we don't really have anything else on the screen except for, um, well, there's nothing on the screen basically to show us where we're going. But I've played this a lot, so I know where we're going. Let's check out our messages. Click that. It's just distress, uh, distress calls. Um, we can look into one of those later, but I typically don't, so... Yeah, anyway. Let's, let me show you the scanner function real quick. Pause it. We've already, I think we've already done this, though, but... Click on a target. Okay. You can click on it manually like that, or you can go here. Click on scanner. Click on the ship list, and... Um, for example, click on him. Click on uh, target. Scan. And there you go. Again, we have information that pops up. Okay. We got the name and the class of the ship. We have its current orders. In this case, it's going to be mining asteroids in this area. We have a, the faction name. As you can tell, that's like a little... It's, it's a name, so it's not an actual... He's not part of a faction. You can click on that button to learn more about his faction, too. In this case, we're already clicked on cargo. That's his, obviously his cargo. That's how much space it takes up in his cargo hold. This is the general health of his ship. In which case, it looks like he's been attacked. Because his hull is not in perfect shape. Again, cargo usage, how many passengers are on his ship. And then we're going to click on this. To check out his other components. I'm repeating stuff. I'm sorry, guys. I, have, I tend to do that. And here we go. Um, he's obviously a mining vessel. Okay. If you scroll down this list, you'll see how he's equipped. Enough of that. Let's get going. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what else can I show you before we get there? Anything? Not really. Good. Hm. Well, we can also talk to these people. You do that by clicking this... Uh, um, let me pause it again. You can do that by talking to... You can talk to them by clicking on this button right there. Um, no big deal. So... Click. In this case, he'll offer us a bunch of options. We can... You know, declare a war with him. We can uh, sell cargo to him. Maybe sometimes buy cargo from him. And we can get an intelligence report from him, which costs money. So we're not going to do that. So for right now, let's just... Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you. Target. Scan. Click on this. And this tells you about his faction, okay? Or, realistically, the lack of faction. Because he's just one guy, okay? Technically, one guy's not a faction. Okay. Anyway... So there you go. Oops, sorry. Faction name. Um, <clears throat> what kind of personality do they have? Are they honorable, normal, crooked, evil? He's a honorable personality type, so he'll probably end up being an ally eventually, if we keep going with this mission, or this game. This tells you how much wealth he generally has. You know, um, <clears throat> there's different charts on this that explain the the wealth types. Then his power is limited because it's probably just his one ship. He has no allies. And he's enemies with the Fang faction. <coughs> and I'll show you how to access the, um, the faction list. Oh boy, <clears throat> I sound funny now. One more. Well, let me just fix it. In fact, I'm going to pause it and fix that. Oops, I can't. Never mind. <clears throat> let me try to show you how to <clears throat> pull up this list. And, um... 
check some stuff out from there, okay? Hold on. All right. So click on Log, click on Factions, and again, you can realistically click on any faction you want. You can talk to them through the comm, okay? Um, you can check out their information, you know, for example, their wealth, power, personality. Now, the default view when you pull up this menu is the uh, list will be organized by power of the faction, and none of the minor factions will be displayed, okay? That's just how it works. Um, so click on wealth. Organi it organizes the, the list by wealth, with the most wealthy being on top. Okay, likewise name, opinion. Opinion always puts the people that hate you on top of the list and the people that like you on the bottom of the list, okay? <clears throat> if you want to see a list of minor factions, click on that box as well, and the list gets bigger, okay? And since we've started out, you're not going to see everyone listed in this list until we've explored everywhere. Let's get back where we're, let's get back to uh, trading, shall we? Go into the green thing, because that's where our little icon wants us to go. Every time you exit a wormhole, the uh, throttle decreases. And now we're flying through space again in a new sector. You can get into a habit of clicking that button in the lower left hand corner. Click on scanner. Check out your nearby stations. Okay. In this sector, there's mining going on, so you have like a refinery. You got, you know, laser turrets. So if you start picking a fight with this guy, he's prepared. Okay. Um, anyway, a bunch of ships around here. A big trading vessel. A couple of transport vessels that transport passengers. An explorer who explores. Um, that's about it. Cargo, nothing's really sticking, or uh, nothing's around here, really. Wormholes, okay, we just came out of one. A uh, bunch of asteroids, type H, which will give the people uh, frozen ice, or, you know, sorry, ice. <laughs> frozen ice, oh my gosh. Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, so... <laughs> And in terms of ice, um, melt it, make water, it's good for making food, blah, 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 which gets made into rations, which ultimately gets sold to the trade center. Okay. Not a lot of money in it, but, you know, hey. Okay. So we're slowly getting to our target, which happens to be in Galene, Okay. Now, to get to another sector, you always have to go through a wormhole. So get used to that. You can't just fly around and get to your destination. You go through the wormhole, which takes you to the other sector. Okay? <clears throat> and this is basically how you start off, by exploring, flying around, going to other places. Okay, so accelerate again because you've just came out of a wormhole. And, uh... Now you can manually fly to your destination if you like, or you can do this. Ship, orders, and navigation, dock at my waypoint. I definitely recommend that option to people who are starting off, because if you don't know where you're going, I'll do that. But definitely get the feel for how to pilot your ship manually, okay? Next, we're going to try to look into um, how to use your tractor beam. So I'm going to have to try to look for uh, scrap. And I think I know just where to go. Click on your... Uh... Yeah, it's going there automatically. Okay. Now just click on complete mission, and guess what? You're done, and you got money, okay? No big deal. <clears throat> um, let's see here.
Do I want to get into a fight? Not really. Um, we can also deliver ships by buying them and then selling them to the places that want them and then they give you a little bit of money for it. Um, let's see here. Okay. I'm going to show you how to use the tractor beam and get scrap. Um, and we'll do... Yeah, we're just going to fly around until we find uh, a place to go. Or, sorry, a place with some uh, scrap that I can work with. Um, which means we're flying out of here. Yeah, guys, so if you're watching this uh, tutorial thing and you don't like it, if it's too boring, you know, um, the game is probably really self-explanatory, but I just wanted to share um, my idea of how I would go about explaining how to, you know, do things, you know? I was running into him. You know, see, if I was on autopilot, I would have probably ran into him, and then my ship would have gotten slowed down. And that would have been ri ridiculous, but since I'm on manual pilot, I can actually avoid him and pilot around him smoothly as opposed to in a clunky, you know, fashion. And the computer also takes a little bit more time to uh, get back up to speed after um, using autopilot. We're going to check the uh, navigation, so we're going to go with log. Universe map. I think we actually want to go to Androla. Or actually, let me see if I can find the wormhole. Oh, we can't. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, let's... We'll go to Androla, okay? Although we can probably get some uh, information on stuff. Let's click on him. Okay. I'm gonna try to see if there's another way to uh, get to where we need to go. Okay, let's click on him. Click on this little thingy there at the bottom to communicate with them. And then let's go with Intel. Let's buy Sector Intel. Um, in Halimus, which... I'll pay the money. There you go. That's what I wanted. Wormhole to Trekos. Perfect. I'll click on Nevermind and we're good to go. Okay. And we're going this way. <clears throat> Perfect. Alright, great. So we've one-on-one -on -one, uh, transport mission, you know, one courier mission, and we've already... Uh, Made a little bit of money, but we also had to spend money to get information, which is annoying, but, you know, part of the thing with this game is it does start you off very slowly in each, um, in each game, you know? So you can kind of get the feel for the area that you're flying through. You can get kind of a feel for, um, the universe that you're in in general. Yeah, so, um... You know, no one's trying to kill me, which is nice. I mean, the pirates might eventually try to, but... Anyway. We are actually going to pirate territory because there should be fighting going on there almost always. So let's see here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna click on him. Uh, Intel. Sector Intel. Let's click on Trekos. Oh, yeah, why not? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, man. Well, that was a bummer. I spent way too much money on that. Well, now we're out of cash. Well, let's, well, let's try one more time. Intel, Sector Intel. 
Yep, we're broke. Okay, well... That's that, I guess. Alright, so, um, now what? Hmm. Let's go to Beta Pendola. Pendola. Or Pendola, I'm sorry. Beta Pendola. <clears throat> Let's see. Things we can still do, or things we should still be doing. I want to show you guys how to use, um... The ECM. Okay. Basically, uh... These things here, and then the uh, tractor beam, which is down there, which is really easy, you know. And then eventually, I want to get into a battle with with you guys and show you how to, you know, use your weapons. Okay. I mean, this game really is kind of self-explanatory. It doesn't take much, you know, of a learning. There's not much of a learning curve with it, but so I kind of want to do this video just for fun, you know. That's all. Hopefully you guys might like it. You know, if not, please comment below and say, hey, uh, yeah, this is kind of boring, and if the game is self-explanatory in your opinion, then hey, I'll take these down, no big deal, you know? Alright, so let's keep going, I guess. Oops. Click that and go. And pause. Um... So yeah, in the meantime, again, look around... Unfortunately, we're in a mining area. And I can probably show you how to use the tractor beam in this area, but I don't want to. I don't want to steal things just yet from anyone. So far, no good messages have popped up. <clears throat> Sometimes, for example, um, ships can be abandoned. You can uh, go and you know fetch them and then sell them, which is awesome. It's a good way to make some quick money when you're starting out. I always recommend when you're starting out, um, always report to those, uh, abandoned vessels. Okay. It's basically free money. So let's go here, and hopefully there is a, uh, a courier mission that I can pick up and do. I can probably actually sell my, uh, my ECMs, because I'm not going to be using them just yet. So, you know, we'll, we will do that. Anyway, so let's dock. I think I tried to show you, well, I'm not sure if, I don't remember now, so let me just, uh, get my pen back out. Okay, so what you want to do is click on your target, which I already, I've already done that, and then you can uh, click this one to, to talk to them, or click that to dock. So let's do that. Okay, great. So let's go to job board, and, uh, yeah, it's not going to work. So let's arrow back, exit, or sorry, undock. Let's go someplace else. Um, yeah, let's go there. Every uh, different place has um, different missions, okay? So let's say, for example, that you don't want to fly from place to place looking for different uh, jobs that you can do, okay? Well, let's do that. That's that's some quick money. Accept. Pick up cargo, undock, and uh, perfect. You can drop that off over here. Wow, that's uh, did not expect that. What's funny is that guys, Fortuna um, is actually a semi-evil faction. So. Uh, Anyway, Fortune Rebels, okay. See on the right-hand side next to Personality, it says Crooked, okay. They're not exactly the good guys. They're typically not going to declare war with you unless you attack them. 
Um, but yeah, they're not exactly the nicest group to deal with. <clears throat> anyway, okay, we got a distrust call. Um, we're probably not going to go there. Just, anyway, see, look at that, see? I'm under attack in the pen Beta Pindola sector by ships belonging to Fortuna Rebels. I told you, they're not the nicest guys. Did I just say that? We have a jettison cargo in the Solace sector. Alright. Let's see what it is. Target subject. I'll tell you up in the upper left-hand corner. They're nano chips. Okay. So... Yep. So we could do that, or... Uh, you go someplace else. But, um... This has taken a long time. Huh. I probably uh, should have taken a different mission. But that's what you get, guys. Uh, part of the game is learning how to just be patient as you fly from place to place, okay? And I, what I'll do is I'm going to drop off the cargo, pick up our money, and then I'm going to show you another little trick for uh, getting around in the area, okay? Which is going to look like cheating, but hmm. oh well. It's part of the game. Right, so we, have, we have our target clicked on, click on the button to dock, complete the mission, and this, let's do this. Let's go to Request Taxi and check it out. You can go any place you want, okay? and check stuff out around town in the area. So for example, the military outpost, request, and automatically you're there and you don't have to pay a thing to do it. And you can check their job board. Okay. Neat, right? Okay. Uh, and then let's say you want to get back in your own ship, click on log, click on properties, and you can jump to another uh, one of your ships or another one of your stations. Enter, and here we are again. Let's, um, check the job board, I guess. Yeah, so, um, you can do stuff like that, but that's kind of annoying. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's go to log. Um, messages, target, and, uh, all right, let's undock. And I'm going to be able to show you how to use the tractor beam now, okay? <clears throat> um, if this video runs too long, then I'll just have to make a new video. Hopefully I'll be less long-winded. Um... Uh, Hopefully this works and we get there and the video can be uploaded. And, yeah. Alright. In the meantime, if I find um, a different target, I will be happy to show you how to use the tractor beam. I haven't done that yet. And I keep meaning to. But so far there's been nothing laying around to pick up. That's kind of a requirement of using the tractor beam. Although I could just do things the silly way, but I, I don't want to. I want to show you, like, in a more um, organic setting. Because I can literally dump my own stuff and then pick it back up with my tractor beam, but I don't want to. So, yeah. So we've... Uh, Got a couple of credits. We can probably look around for someone to give us some information. Hold on. Let's go with Intel. Um, let's click on that again. Yeah, let's do it. That's not what I wanted either. Never mind. Alright, we're done with that. 
I guess we could try one more time. Let's message him again. Intel. By sector Intel. Um. Oh boy. Um, let's go with Androla. Yep. Nope. That did not work. Okay. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find the wormhole to the pirate area. Where the pirates hang out and the bandits. Okay, guys, so what's going to happen here is we're going to probably uh, pause it here and... Uh, in the next video, we're going to drop off our cargo um, from the mission that we have. Okay. Or, I'm sorry. Um, no. That's right, we're, we're responding to this uh, message. We're going here. Okay. We're going to see if we can pick up the cargo and sell it, and then hopefully, uh, at least that way you get to uh, check out how the tractor beam is used. Yeah, so, um... I'm going to make a part 3 hopefully tonight, and hopefully show you guys how to progress in this game, and there's, you know, check out the different money-making options, okay? That's all. So that's it. Um, okay.